All right. Um, we're here with a league map. Let's get Shanahan. And uh, we'll see what happens. Um, what am I? What am I immediately seeing from this board? Um, I'm seeing Wharf. That's for sure. Uh, we have villages in both hideout and contract. Hideout might be a little. Well, there's wharf, so probably not that awkward to the state. You can just take coppers. Um, it is it is hurting on draw a little bit. You might want archives too. Uh, market square gains gold. So that's a source of payload. Uh, patron also does a little bit for you early on. Uh, I'm probably going to start patron silver. Um, there's no point in doing this yet. I don't know if there will ever be a point, but uh, we're probably going to start Patron Silver. Um, try to get, like, I mean, two wharves. That sure seems good, doesn't it? Um, add some market squares for gold gaining. Add hideout for trashing. And uh, see what happens. Uh, once we really get going, it's going to be uh, pretty pretty quick, I imagine, to to get trash down with hideout. We'll be playing, you know, two a turn, maybe even three, probably two. So that'll be that. Uh, like this will be a hideout right here for me. Um, yeah. Alright, we do manage to hit 5 without spending the favor, which is nice. Um, so, so I'm happy there. Um, I guess this will be a market square. I'm pretty hesitant. I mean, I don't know what else I would buy. Like, I need to slow down a bit here, but I'm getting a little bit I can feel I can feel myself getting a little bit amped up. Um, uh, shoot. I guess I guess there's cases where like if I don't draw the wharf, I still want to hit five. So let's let's go ahead and spend the favor. Okay, we we do draw the wharf. Uh, so now I have a choice whether to trash copper or estate. Um, and copper. And let's get another wharf. Uh, here I will get the opportunity to uh, discard market square should I desire. Um, so that'll be nice. Uh, we can gain pickpockets first. I'm not sure if I actually like want the gold though. I think just Cycling a bit harder is better. Like, I'll pick up another wharf right here. Yeah. Things seem to be going pretty okay over on that side. I guess you just saw three estates, which is not the best. This might be another hideout for you. You can totally afford to have two, even three. Um, obviously, you'd like it to be a wharf, but I would have liked to have played this wharf last turn. So it's, it's you know. Some, somehow it all evens out, maybe. And then sometimes it doesn't, so, you know. Um, I'm just going to pick up a, another wharf here. Uh, I'm probably about ready to be trashing estates. Um, this turn I'll play two wharves. That'll be nice. 
But I do like having more wars. I'm a little bit unhappy with uh, what exactly the draws have been doing. Um, I will say. So, this just looks like hideout to me. Um, I guess it could be another wharf. Like, what's what's gonna happen if I take another wharf? Nothing bad, right? Alright, I've convinced myself. Let's take another wharf. Wharves are good. This turn will get the hideout, I promise. Whoa, that is a lot of money. That I do not have. Probably actually do have it this turn. I guess I discard a copper here. Just snap up those last two wards. Um, yeah, so I need to gain a gold. That's my take, anyways. Um, and now I want to hide out and. I don't know, maybe more market square? You know, like hide out, hide out market square. What if I don't play the gold and I have nine? I can't, I can't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's do it this way. Um, contract. I don't feel like. I mean, like, having a third hideout sure seems nice, right? Because in order to get, like, the deck really running, I need to be a bit thinner. All right. And that little pause was a little bit weird, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. I mean, you're, you're not displeased with this. This, this looks pretty good. Um, you probably want another market square, but you could totally just go into provinces right now. It makes me feel a little bit behind for whatever reason. Um, from a perspective of like, you know, having stuff. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to accomplish this turn. Like I don't, I don't actually know what the what the draw is. Um, so there's that. I think I have what three war. I mean, I'll get through this. I'll get through it for now, but it, it's not like, sustainable by any means, I don't think. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, I just, I don't understand. I mean, I understand. I understand. Let's not be weird about it. Yeah, I 
guess we'll trash this estate. Um, now I have a decision to make. I guess I actually just want to discard this market square. Uh, and like, that'll get me, um, a province. Uh, do I want to enhance gold to it? I don't think so. I just want it. Straight up. Like the maps, the maps will get you more gold in the archive. I'll, I'll put them away. I'm just not sure that that's the best way to operate this deck. That's all. And even seeing this, that, that did not look pretty. Um, like, okay. Yeah, this seems okay. So the, the archive did do its job. It's just, like, I don't know. Maybe it would have been better for me to get one. I could totally believe I messed this up, not getting one. I can't imagine this being anything but a double province. It'd be real. Um, discard market square or not, I think I can do one of them. Okay. Uh, top decking a, top decking a, a province isn't so bad. Um, do I want the replacement gold? I mean, I'm assuming that you can probably triple. Um, a, a triple for me is like completely out of the question. Uh, you you might even be able to quad, depending. Ah, so that's a problem, isn't it? I don't know that I can actually defend against a quad. Treasure maps really did do a number. Um, if I draw the gold, what would I do? I mean, I could triple, but that so loses. I guess I'm going to react this one, given, given what I need to do. So like I can I can province duchy enhancing a gold. I don't know if I don't think enhancing a silver would be proper. Uh, I can also just province duchy straight up, but that doesn't seem good. Oh, well, maybe it's fine. I mean, if if you quad next turn, I'm toast anyways. So, um, I get province. The 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 math just isn't working out here. I like need one more coin, which means maybe I should have kept the market square around. 
Um, Province, province innkeeper, state, like, ugh. maybe we do that. All right, I think I may have convinced myself of, of this move. Um, uh, we'll we'll see what comes of it. Um, you might just be able to quad, and I'm I'm done. And I might also full dud, and then I'm also done, but for different reasons. Um, Let's see. Yeah, this is looking like the quad. Damn. Huh. Sure does look like a quad. You can trash province to get there. And it would totally be worth it, of course. You know, winning the game. <laughs> Alright, trashing a copper gives me a little bit of hope, but seeing all that does not. Um, so I, I saw it strongly suspect this just wins. Maybe crossing your, crossing your T's, dotting your I's on it, but yeah, yeah, okay. Um, or not. All right. Well, we have all this other stuff we can enhance, right? So that'll be that'll be the goal. Uh, assuming I don't just die here, um, am I trashing hideout? Yes. Where is all of my wharf? Not here. Okay. Um. I guess it's going to have to happen next turn. <sighs> okay. Um, well, we'll enhance the hideout. Duchy. I guess there's probably just like zero way that you don't win this next turn. Alright, I need to undo that. Because... I mean, I have to, I have to keep going. <laughs> that lot of good that did me. Okay, so the good news is it didn't really matter what happened that turn because I was about to just die anyways. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. Duchy. Innkeeper, I guess. Um, double estate, maybe. I mean, there's just going to be so many different ways for you to win this next turn. Let's just go <laughs> do that. Um, like, if I drew my wharves, it totally could have happened, right? I, I don't know if it could have actually happened, but we, we're never going to find out because... I, I didn't draw my wharves, um, so that was that was exciting. Um, on to your start. Maybe this time I'll draw my wharves, or not. 
no wharves to draw, so that's that's a positive, I guess. Well, what do we want to do here? I'm not thrilled with this whatever I would have liked to have opened Apothecary Exorcist for sure. Uh, that would take a 4-3. I guess, seeing as I can't... Oh, man. It sure would have been nice. Or rather, Potion Exorcist. Whatever it is I'm trying to say. Um... I mean, you want to build this deck that Exorcists thing and then Hamlet Tragic Hero gain gold and do that. Um, the, the best way to get to big numbers is via Apothecary. Uh, I could try double borrowing, uh, which is to say, like, borrow for Exorcist, and, I mean, in all likelihood, what, 80% of the time, borrow for Potion. That's totally something I could do that sounds pretty bad. Um, I could take a loan, try to get it done without the apothecary. That's probably the way I'm going to have to go here. Um, we'll do that. That should have been borrowing for potion. But whatever. It's not like it really matters. Alright, my exorcist flips, so that's terrible. Uh, what am I going to do about it? Take a passage? Um, I guess. I could take another exorcist. I don't know how that's going to help at all. Um, yeah, let's take a passage. This is four. I could have taken the potion, I suppose. That's, that's what I could have done. But it's, it seems hard to, hard to justify off a, of, off of nothing. What do I want here? Borrow for Tragic Hero? Yeah, I think it's time to not be messing around. Um, Hamlet, Trash Copper. Who, who would want Wisps? Nobody wants Wisps. That's the answer. So this sucked. I mean, I, I knew it was in there. It's not like that was a surprise. It's just annoying. Well, I guess the good news is I should be lining up Exorcist with a state this next shuffle. If, if only that was a thing that, like, I actually desperately wanted to do, you know, not turn six when my opponent already has two wisps in his drawing deck. Uh, <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. This is weird. I don't know why this needs to be played one at a time, but apparently they did. This will be an easy tragic hero for you. I guess you could take swap, but I can't imagine drawing not being better. Um, 
my hope for this turn is to talisman. I guess you're gonna try to do like talisman swap. Okay. You know what the thing I said about exorcist hitting estates? Um, yeah. About that. <laughs> oh. Gosh. I mean, I'm running low on money. I have to, I have to like buy swap. I have to. Maybe I just take two Hamlets. Um. All right, let's do that. Maybe. Maybe I will. I will hit a estate with exorcist. <laughs> Maybe. Surely you need a swap for this deck to work. Like you're gonna borrow for swap here. That's that's like the whole point of getting talisman, right? I'm I'm not. I'm not insane. At least I hope not. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I I like getting the third estate trashed before I've done even one. That's a that's a nice touch. Oh my god. This is. This is absurd. <sighs> Alright, I'm I'm done here. This is just ridiculous. Um <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> Maybe this time no tragedies will befall us like not trashing estates ever, or not drawing wharves, or you know, any of these things. All right, what's happening here? Bridge. Well, there's there's bridge and lots of ways to draw, so that's what we're doing. Um, I don't know. Well, I do know. Uh, it the the four is bridge. The three is either silver or shanty town, and I'm pretty hard tending towards shanty town. Um. There's like Capital City and Storyteller both, that's kind of amusing. Uh, I, I guess the Storyteller, Storyteller is a case for, it's a case for silver. But early on is the, is a case for, is a case for Shantytown. Um, Bridge is like adding a silver to the deck, so that's nine. Um, that puts you nine in deck, which is fine. I mean, if, if things go properly, that's Capital City Bridge. All right, I think I've convinced myself of the shanty town. Um, and, whoa, they didn't collide. It's a miracle. I do not understand the conclave over bridge, but maybe I'm missing something really obvious here. I'm gonna take a capital city. This is gonna not be another bridge because there is no bridge. Uh, silver. Well, at least the shanty town didn't collide with anything spectacular. Cobbler. So we're just doing like totally different things here. That's that's good. I'll make a storyteller. Oh, what do I want here anyways? Seven. It could be like bridge hostel where you get a horse. Oh, it it can't be that because I can't count to numbers. It could be bridge conclave. 
I want a bridge, that's for sure. Alright, let's let's have it be bridge conclave. That is a lot of shanty towns. I don't know about this shuffle, but it seems to have worked out alright. I could get more capital cities. That's probably my move. This next turn's fine. It's, um, this one's going to be bridge uh, hostelry discarding one for a horse. Just like I was trying to do that last whatever before it didn't happen. I guess it could also be bridge storyteller. That might be better. I don't know that I actually need the extra village. All right. I do like having these three bridges. I do like having them. And we'll get more. Conclave, Bridge, Storyteller, that looked amazing. I'm just getting through deck here. Okay, this looks more like it. Um, so I do want to add, like, at least two bridges. Like, two bridges, Storyteller, Hostelry. That sounds reasonable. Whoops, I can't count again. Because I'm stupid. Um, this looks terrible so far, anyways. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh, do I want to add a silver? Yes. That certainly was that certainly was a trouble turn. Like if if I end up losing this game, that's a hundred percent the turn that it's attributable to. It's just not getting whatever. right there. Seeing all the bridges at once. Okay, I probably want that last bridge. We'll, we'll make note. Um, I'm gonna draw, yeah. What is this conclave playing? Hostelry. That's what it's playing. Or horse. Um, let me just draw with this. I guess the playing the shanty town for whatever isn't going to happen. So what are my options? Like, bridge and however many cities? It's like, bridge. Five cities? Cities certainly seem like something I should be adding to my deck here. Um, that is regular ones. There's, there's no way for you to pile, right? No, you do have, you do have, no, you have four bridges. Do you have your cobbler out? No. Okay. So that's, that's five buys. Yeah, okay, it's, it's nowhere close. 
do I want a nomad camp? Or is seven gains enough for me? Or I could take a province, always. I mean, the other option is to, you know, try to empty cities, but that sure would get me places. Maybe hostelry. I don't think that's actually useful. Uh, what else would help consistency? Like, I, I want this nomad camp is what I want, but it goes on top of my deck and that sucks. Well, let's get it anyways. Hope for the best. This was not the best. Um, I'm just gonna go out and tell you this, this, this was not as good as it could have been. I had a really long think there about not much. I feel like. I mean, I should end up winning this game just like. so clearly, I think. Um, there's. There's. The, the number of metrics on which I'm, I'm winning right now, I have more draw, I have more gains, and I have more cost reduction, so whatever. What are these coppers? I do not know what these coppers are. These coppers are me full dotting. <sighs> oh gosh, it's a good thing I'm winning otherwise, because wow, has this been bad. Like, like I'm winning here, and it is totally not because my draws have improved over the last two games. <laughs> Absolutely, a hundred percent, not that. Um. <laughs> Or, or hostelry buying. Okay. Um, yeah. Here's a nice turn. You know, like what I've been looking for most turns. Uh, in Conclave the Shanty Town at the end. Uh, and that is one more. Don't play that. Uh, eight buys. Do I win? Oh, how are the points? Oh, fountain. Now that seems like a lot of work for me to do. Um, undo that. I want some horses. Um, let's see here. I can't quite get all the provinces, so that sucks. Let's just go ahead and do that bit. Uh, I could take three coppers of my own. Um, like everything's, everything's safe. You have four bridges, you have one nomad camp. Uh, right. That's six, six buys. Yeah, okay. Um, I can take like, Two provinces and two capital cities, and nothing should be bad until I draw this complete, utter freaking garbage. Um, 
what is with this. Oh my god. <sighs> this game is terrible. Uh, I guess I'm buying like Wild Hunt now. <laughs> we Wild Hunt. What is this? Unbelievable! Just gosh! Like, how many turns do I need to give up here? Oh, man. This is totally unreasonable, I swear. <sighs> Why can I not have won this game already? Like, I mean, you'll have, you'll have the gains, sort of. <laughs> Been like, you know, being safe with piles, and then all this, and then this kind of stuff happens. Man, does it ever tick me off? I'm not gonna lose this turn. It'll be some future turn when I lose, probably next turn. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> This game sucks. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you're going to go into a position where I'm going to... I mean, you may as well go into a position where I can lose next turn on a full dot, because if I don't have a full dot, I clearly win. Um... Yeah, this is this is how it's going. <laughs> All right. This turn, this turn I will win. I promise you. There is no way that I was going to have another dud like that. That was just nuts. So many times. Um I'm just going to click through here. It's it's too difficult to think about. Uh, seven buys. Um, cards, bridge. Okay. We got there somehow. Jeez. Well, hopefully being able to win with something, all those absurdities happening will have things become better. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have taken the fountain. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the provinces. I don't know. It's just like, what did I do? Um, black market, and that is where the villages exist, so I guess that's what we're doing. Um, oh, apparently that's not what we're doing. Apparently we're just watching somebody open Mountebank instead. Oh, I guess that's going to change things. I think I'm going to open Wishing Well Scrap in that case. I think that reasonably hits five, maybe. Um, it would if it were estates. I'm not sure if it does with the with the coppers. Um, yeah, I mean, if if I like can't make it work with wishing well scrap, I'm just toast anyways. I'm pretty sure. So let's do that. Eventually, we should be able to get thin if we ever actually like hit five more than once. Okay, so that's terrible. Um, this is probably good for next turn, but I'm so toast already. Um, 
I'm gonna take another wishing well. Jeez. Uh it saw the wishing well. God. Whoops. That was not what I meant to do. Uh oh well. Um so now that I've clearly lost this game, what am I doing? Um, get a sage? I, I totally misclicked on this card there, but you can't. You can't do that. Um, it's the scrap. Hooray. I'm just gonna never hit five. Now. It was my one chance to do it, and it's not gonna happen. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Um, back to my start. Way to lose two games within, like, ten turn, five turns. Unbelievable. Apparently this is just what this season is. It's losing games within five turns. Um, what have we here? Um, I see Sanctuary Thins. We probably, I mean, Orchard, there's, there's not a whole lot of draw. It's, it's Necromancer and that's not really gonna it's not really gonna make it. Um, I kinda wanna start like Courier Silver, try to pick up Sanctuaries and Soothsayers. Uh, that sounds reasonable. I don't know if Candlestick Maker is better than, um, Silver. It certainly seems like something you want three of. Um, so, there's that. Like, I usually try to, you know, take out games to somewhere past the early turns, and those two games, there's just been, there's been no way. Um, like, like last game, if, if the scrap had seen copper, I could have taken a coin and hit five. Um, If I had actually seen the Wishing Well, I might have been able to draw five coppers somehow. Um, but it's like you're sitting here opening Mount Bank and getting two sanctuaries, and I'm doing nothing <laughs> with all this crap already in my deck. So, yeah. Um, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> Um, let's see. We decided we wanted Silver over Candlestick Maker. Probably. I'll take another Courier here. Apparently I am not actually getting Courier ever. Um, this will be Sanctuary for me. I want, I want to load up on those before, uh, okay. that's always nice to see. Uh, your opponent go double sanctuary. Um, and now what you're next what you're now going to see is you're going to see me not being able to exile an estate. That's that's what you're gonna see now. Is is me not able to exile an estate. I'm gonna get another sanctuary here. Is fine. Oh, I do get to exile an estate. It's a miracle. Uh, we want to cycle one more. Uh, we don't want to cycle more than that. Um, 
I want Sanctuary. I totally do not want this Candlestick Maker yet, I don't think. Well, is that really true? I don't think that's true. I think I do want a Candlestick Maker right now. This shuffle, we should be able to get plenty of uh, sanctuarying in. Like, a lot of sanctuarying. Um, I think I'm going to pick up a third already uh, over this soothsayer. We can get pretty dang thin before going over to the soothsayers. So let's do that. Things are looking a little bit up. Up a little bit, a little bit up. One of the two. There we go. Okay. Now add Soothsayer. Curses. Um, the the card was actually more of a penalty than the curse. A rare case. Somehow I'm not getting a whole lot more stuff in exile despite having had reasonable draws there. I'm gonna meal this and pick up the plaza. This could be displaced for me. This turn, that is. Uh, did I play a sanctuary last turn? Yeah, I did. Okay. I did indeed. You want the displace for the golds? That's that's what's been going on. Um, A little bit of sanctuary, sure. I don't love that silver, I want to say. Um, yeah, more sanctuarying. Let's get thin. Uh, I hear a displace now. So I am thin. Um, I guess you are too. <laughs> so much for that being that being good. Um, you can plaza discard something and then career it. Pretty amazing, huh? <laughs> Not really amazing at all. I feel like reasonably good about this game right now. Uh, I do not want to play that courier yet. Okay, now I guess I want to play that courier. Play this one and not play the curse. Okay. Um, this could be a pair of plazas. Um, it's it's orchard points, and I I do want them. So let's just do it. Um, that was that was a pretty mediocre uh, a go of things. Um, that turn. Hopefully this turn we'll get to like displace a gold into province and just start on that stuff. Um, we also have this candlestick maker option for, for a few extra points, which seems good. 
I'm, I'm almost all the way out. Okay, you're just trying to match Orchard, so that's nice. Uh, I guess we'll do this next, sure. I'm not gonna get any I'm not gonna get any displacing done. That was bad. Oh province. Yeah. yeah province. Well Yeah. Province. Um I'm gonna get hit with Soothsayer, which is again just like somehow absolutely devastating for reasons other than the curse. <laughs> um. Like that's that's not how Soothsayer is supposed to work. It's 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 not supposed to be devastating for reasons other than the curse. Plays Sanctuary, don't exile. Plays Plaza, don't discard. Um, don't exile. Province. Awesome. Okay. Um, well, I play the Soothsayer, surely. You can discard the curse from exile, but I'm just gonna take. Province candlestick maker. And someday this displace might actually work, but not today. Someday. Someday. You're just gonna be like going along and then Shanahan's gonna triple province when there's three provinces left. I can I can feel it. I can feel it. Um, I had like this other game with uh Courier kind of in this fashion and it was like we were both playing equivalent decks and my opponent's couriers were just being amazing and, and mine just didn't do anything useful at all. Anyways, that's that's what I feel like is gonna happen. Okay, third displace. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's better to have all the all the displaced power in the deck. Well, shoot. Uh, I sure would like to display something, which is going to be better off being that province. Uh, we'll take it down into displace, and we'll buy another candlestick maker. All right, the good news is I should be able to play displace and even do something I want to do with it this turn. Um... That's the good news. I'm really looking forward to doing that. It's been a it's been a long hard journey for this place, and finally it's going to hit a gold. Yeah, typical. Um. I mean, I'm. Oh gosh. I might just down displace province to displace and take a single province here. Uh, can I do that even? Yeah, I can totally do that. Um. I'll mule this, no need to give you extra cards. And buy 
a single province. Okay. Now, if nothing too devastating happens, I think I might win this turn. Don't know. But, that curse hurt. <sighs> Not really. Um, yeah, actually it hurt quite a lot. Um, well, I guess we're playing Plaza. And then we're just going to have to kind of hope for the best here. Um, because somehow the Dominion gods do not enjoy me double provincing. What is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Um, I'm going to double dutchy. That's what I'm going to do. It's unlikely that you get an amazing turn, but it totally could happen. Um, whatever. Yeah, sure, just play this place. Why don't you? Um, the problem is, is I just like saw all my good stuff. Or not all my good stuff, but I saw I saw a lot of my money, which again painful. Um, really painful. Uh, what do I play? I guess I play courier. Um, this place is a useless card that has no purpose in any decks. That's my conclusion. Um, could do a plaza here. I guess, I guess that's probably the move. Ah, uh, this wins. Right, two, five. No, it doesn't. Oh my god, it's one short. How typical. Um, you could probably double province this next turn, because why wouldn't you be able to? Um, if I take province duchy estate, which I can do, how would I be feeling? I'd be feeling like I'm probably staring at a tie. So, I can double duchy again. You might be able to double province. I mean, you'll probably be able to, because that's what, that's what I've been like, points off, coins off from doing this whole time. Um, Province Duchy Estate. Nine points. Yeah, you could totally displace two things. Alright, let's let's take the double duchy and hope for the best. This is not gonna I'm I'm gonna lose. I'm I'm gonna lose this turn. I, I promise. Um, okay, I'm not losing this turn. Okay, I am losing this turn. This is how it's gonna work. Plays courier, plays courier, plays courier, plays displace, gets the double province. <sighs> I can't, like, do this. <laughs> 
Okay, apparently it's not that easy. At least. Um... That's the good news anyways. The bad news is... <laughs> I hope I didn't, like, have a win last turn that I just blew, because it was stupid. I don't think there was, but it, there totally could have been. Okay, I don't think you have the double province. You're probably, possibly considering, like, if you could maybe make it. Okay. Um, how's are going low? Um, so that's something to consider right here. Um, I don't have extra actions, which is bad. I could play the courier plane and hope. Uh, you can't courier. You probably don't know where all your displaces are. You discarded two. I mean, you might just be carrying displaced gold in hand. Um, what can I do? I can, like, uh, I can't empty courier and curse, I don't think. Um, I can get a bunch of estates. That seems bad. Or maybe it's not that bad. Like, I take three estates and give out the curse, and then what? Yeah, that might be the move. That might be the move. Alright. What about two estates? Like, I don't, I don't think you're gonna... Like, if I take three estates here, then you need to take three estates in a province to win. That seems semi-unlikely. Um, it does offer up this tie, which, I don't know. Um, it's really unlikely that you get um, four estates, right? And it's virtually impossible for you to get five. So I think I might just stop there. Or I can stop there and take like a uh, necromancer. just to give me another possible orchard. Okay, let's do that. Acknowledging the very real possibility that you're just carrying double province in hand. That does not look like carrying double province in hand. Oh, that's good. Um, at this point, you probably just province, and then I win. I hope. No, I, I win if you province. 
and I probably also win if you... No, I do also win if you uh, double estate. So either way, I'm winning. Awesome. I guess if you single estate, maybe I don't win. Um, well, couriers. Okay. Uh, shoot. So, if I play... Gold. I can also, like, displace two duchies to Soothsayer and buy a state. That's totally a thing I can do. I can also just displace two gold, two duchies to Soothsayer. Um, I could play Sanctuary. Uh, get a buy. Hope for the best. Um, But um, by a state, is that good? Yeah, I think buying a state is, is fine. Three. Okay, I think I can even beat a province here. I can't beat two, which still really could happen and is probably going to, because... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> um, I can beat a single province. Easy. Uh, I am very worried about the double. As unlikely as it seems. Oh, it's happening. God dang. <sighs> Why do these things always happen? Maybe I can defend against double. <laughs> yeah, it was not a good game. Uh, maybe I can defend against double by, like, province. No, there, I couldn't province is the thing. I don't know why I bother doing this. Why are you being right back again? You went right. Jeez. I mean, I know it's bad to get annoyed about this stuff, but. Yeah. <sighs> like, like, what could have happened that game? Like, I could have drawn Displace with gold, like, any time earlier. Um, I could have, you know, actually drawn Double Province any of those turns when it was a possibility. Um, could have, could have, could have. Oh, now what we have? A big ol' scrap engine. Um, I don't know what to do. It's not gonna work anyway, so I don't know what the point is, but... Uh, I guess I'm probably gonna start Carpenter Strap. I don't know, like, 
I don't think that's actually any good. Like, I want to, I want to get hunting parties and such. Scrying pool looks not good. Um, at all. Like, like all the stuff you could ever want is up here. Um, I just don't know if carpenter is actually good. I could start transmogrify dungeon. That could be a way to get to five, but you need to scrap eventually, and it does good things. Um, I don't think innkeeper is even a consideration over dungeon. Well, Carpenter's not getting anything you want. Um, you get to open hunting party, which is amazing. Alright, I think I'm starting... Man, I don't know. Like, the advantage of Innkeeper over Dungeon is that you get to s potentially cycle a whole lot more, like, back to your silver. Um, but, whatever. Right. Let's scrap Dungeon. Just take T-Mog, which is pretty odd to me. Um... Like, you take Hunting Party, and then you take Scrap there, and then you get to it. Anyways, that's how that should have worked over there. Let's worry about over here. Um, I want another dungeon, because I'm going to gain a Silver. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to gain Silver Horse. I don't want a fool's gold yet. I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Um, this is going to be coin horse. I think I don't get a hunting party. This will be, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll play the dungeon again. Okay. This will be, um, or silver. Then I'll buy a fool's gold already. Yeah, let's let's do a fool's gold already. I find the fool's gold. Okay. Um. I scrap silver here, I'm pretty unhappy, right? So I can scrap horse instead for like horse coin buy and figure it out later. Um, probably hunting party fool's gold or hunting party scrap. Hunting party fool's gold. Maybe I'll get beat up by pool. That would suck. Um, since, you know, I'm, I'm committing to hunting party being better. <laughs> but, so it would have gone. Uh, just another hunting party. That's what we buy is hunting parties. It would do me, um, 
some good to have the dungeons actually alternating and have pool not beating me up so badly, but whatever. That's never going to happen. Um, I'm like pretty okay with where I'm at, I think. Uh, this turn I want like quartz in a hunting party, ideally. Um, this would be seven if we scrap the silver for coin by horse. Uh, what would that be? Let's see, six. That'd be seven. Um, I sure could use some more hunting parties, but that would be seven. Seven gets me scrap quartz. That's reasonable. Um, horses. All gone. Quartz. All gone. I'm totally fine operating without pool. 100%, man. Uh, wild hunt time. Pretty sure that makes it. Yep. Yep, yep. All good. All good. Be nice if these could hit copper like they're supposed to. Yeah, there we go. Like, I'd much rather them be hitting copper than watching all of my good cards go by. Yeah, that deck's running. This would be a port gain. Pretty sure. It seems like it got there like a turn slower than mine, but what do I know? I just I don't think these pools are really helping your cause that terribly much. Uh, I might get, at some point, like, hurt by, um, what's it? Uh, something. Anyways. At some point I'll figure out what that something is. And then you'll know. Um, that makes nine. Whoops. I am stupid. I am out of actions. Uh, actually, I could I could totally undo the dungeon. Okay. I need I need the action, and it's totally worth it to top deck a copper for. Um, silver for silver horse buy. And then trash this copper and buy like quartz wild hunt. Yeah. Right. That's not better than carpenter. Carpenter better? Carpenter might be better. Now it's it's quartz. Now it's carpenter. Because I can I can carpenter port. Alright. Now it's ports. What am I doing with the carpenter anyways? Gaining things to scrap. Okay. Um, another wild hunt. 
No, don't discard hunting parties. Just see copper. Why can't you just see copper? I have tons of them. There we go. You can also gain fool's gold with carpenters. That's a, that's a thing to do. Eventually, anyways. I guess the thing that I might have trouble with keeping up with is a deck that just buys tons and tons of carpenters. Um, gains tons and tons of carpenters, draws it all up, carpenters, carpenters to gold, carpenters those to province. But, whatever. Uh, I don't actually know what to expect this to be. You might take a wild hunt. Okay. Oh, this is so typical. Um, card by silver. Okay. That is what is up. Is my deck failing? I won't fail this next turn, because, you know, here's where all my good stuff is. Uh, except for those two wild hunts on top that are both about to get discarded. <laughs> Shoot. <sighs> yeah. I mean, this should have been fine, right? <laughs> The, the, the problem, the problem is not in like, you know, that my deck doesn't function because it doesn't have pool in it. It doesn't function because I had one turn where I drew all my copper. And that is absolutely something that could happen to you. It just hasn't. <laughs> I can't believe, like, even, even the game I win, the, the one game I win, even that game, everything is just awful. <laughs> okay, I wasn't, I wasn't asking for much. I'm just, you know, don't have awful, terrible things happen. It would really be a, it would really be a start. Um. I'm not even going to say, like, the pool attack beat me up. It was drawing all my coppers at once that beat me up. I mean, you saw my deck working just fine without the pool. Or without the pools and against the pool attack. It just didn't work for one turn. Like, you see this. This this would be you drawing virtually all of that stuff at once. Um, that's why I'm not really blaming the deck for it. Uh, the the one thing that the one thing that is happening is that you are producing a whole lot more overdraw, uh, which um, is is going to help with with running carpenter running carpenter. Um, 
So I have to decide what I want to do about that. Uh, that last card is a carpenter. I need to draw it. Um, so, what now? Um, I want to buy a wild hunt this turn. And probably like a fool's gold, so that makes seven. I have that in hand already. Uh, should I, should I want to, um, take a state from this wild hunt? Like scrap silver, uh, card by silver. Um, there's also, there's also the thing where, uh, I can take like two carpenters and draw them and see what I want to do with that, which does sound appealing. Um, gets this, gets this one dud turn that really, that really did it. Um, I mean, scrap copper. I can scrap silver. Like, what is this now? Nine. Card. Uh, buy. Replace silver. Ten. Carpenter. Another fool's gold, maybe. Um, this is still 10, uh, which is hunting party wild, no, it's, it's two wild hunts, or is it hunting party wild hunt? No, I think it's, I think it's two wild hunts. If we need the, uh, actions at the end, we can toil one of them. Good thing I have two dungeons. Shoot. Tell you it's it's so typical. <laughs> Maybe you have this hand no, you're just figuring out what to transmogrify into. You did you did not have the magic, like, terrible hand that I had earlier this game. <sighs> Cause you don't get magic terrible hands. You've watched me get so many magic terrible hands this match. Um, I'm probably even losing this turn. Yeah, I, th I think you can win this turn. Um, yeah, you can totally win this turn. Maybe it's a little far-fetched. Like, if you do the right set of carpenters and forts, you can get it to where you have, f what, four carpenters. And then you can remodel a bunch of stuff into wild hunts and, and win. So that seems possible. You gain like one port off a carpenter, gain three carpenter, two carpenters, draw them, gain another carpenter, draw it. Uh, carpenter, I don't know what, into wild hunt. Buy the ports in wild hunt. Anyways, I fully expect a win to happen here. Um, but hopefully you'll mess up and not have it happen. Yeah, okay. That's good.
That is game. I do not want to watch you sit through trying to figure out this win, particularly, but we'll see. A little bit surprised at scrapping the potion. I think that that would be better as a remodel target. Well, you can gain silver from it. Alright, so there should be three carpenters here which can remodel into wild hunts, all of them. Um, I'm not exactly sure how you're producing enough money if you are. Be like nine. I guess you can pull an estate off of one of them. You have two more scrying pools, so... You, like, pull an estate, scrap the estate for silver coin, draw that. I don't actually know how many ports you have. Um... Yeah, I think I mean the, the the pool thing. I mean, this is this is what the pool thing can do that I can't. Um, I did have the one turn, so maybe maybe this is where you see it be better. Are we piling estates? Oh, apparently, we're piling estates. Okay, that also works, I suppose. Alright, well, that was a really crappy set of games with absolutely awful things continually happening, so... I don't know. Nothing works anymore, and I'll see you all.